This here's Clint. And this is Jim Bob. We are the Whiskey Drinkers. We are back with the Drunken Discussion. Yes, uh, Scott Bale. Wow. Um, Nicole Egger? I is? think so. Something, Something like, like that. that. All right, now. Charles in Charge. And the girl on Charles in Charge. All right, now, we had to watch a video on both sides of the story. Yeah, to be so fair. we understood what was going on. Yep. We had to look at the dates of yeah. the time periods and shit oh, like that. Oh, trust me, we did our research. We're not fucking around here. Not much research, but a little bit, a little bit. So it turns out that Scott Bayo, when he started Charles in Charge, was about 24 years old. Yeah. yeah. And the girl was 17, well, I believe. Yeah, and it was during the years of 1980 what? 84, I think? 84 to 1980 what? Something like that. But it was a small three years, something like that period. Um, so she during that period, at some point, she was uh, 17. Yeah. And... Well, that's not what Scott Bayo says, but that's what she says. She was 17 when yeah. this all happened. Now, I remember the show from when I was younger, and Nicole was hot as hell. Oh, yeah. I mean, who didn't oh, have yeah. a crush on her? And, yeah, and but but how many girls... one out nightly thinking about it. How her? many girls didn't rub one out to Scott Bayo? Scott Bayo. Yep. Okay, now, something Jim Bob and myself discussed was at that time, Scott Bayo was like rock star status. Exactly. Like, he was at the top of the fucking food chain... And there were guys out there that wanted to fuck him, and that was before being gay was even acceptable. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Now, this might not be politically correct for me to say, but... Uh, but nothing we ever say is. But nothing is. But uh, 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 Scott Mayo, I almost forgot I forgot what I was going to say. You got that excited about it? I he, did. He mentioned it. Scott Mayo, and his hormones start getting around. No, it ain't shit. that. It ain't oh. that. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys might not want to face this, but uh, the fact is, when you get that star status, that pussy's being thrown at you, or that penis, depending on if you're a girl or guy, or if you're gay or whatever. You know, I just want to hey, throw it out there for everybody. You, you know, it's all, it's equal. So, uh, the point is, not for me, just for... Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I thought you were... Geez, geez, so, the well. point is, yeah, you know... I mean, I'm not discriminating. If you're gay, that's fine. No, I'm saying Scott Mayo was at the point oh. where he's Charles in fucking charge. People are throwing their pussy at him. Yeah. Even Buddy on that show is getting pussy, you know. Buddy was probably throwing his dick at Scott, because he... Yeah. Wanted, I mean... Like I said, he was at the top of the pussy food chain. Exactly. He, yeah, even Buddy was like, I need a piece of this. Yeah, no shit. Now, I do have to say, now, Scott Mayo says that she was above 18 when they did the nasty, all yeah. right? Now, she's saying she was 17. Now, first off, I want to state this right away so you guys don't think I'm a fucking weirdo. I think the laws that we set up of uh, you can't fuck a girl under 18 makes fucking sense, right? It doesn't right? make sense. But it goes into some gray area right there, right? Yeah. Where it's like, um, you know... Uh, if you're 18 and you're fucking a 17 year old, if you're, you know, I think it goes, I think we should have a new law. There should almost be a cushion there. There should be. The cushion should be if you're 25 or beyond, then you can't fuck an 18 year old. Well, I don't know. I disagree with that. I want to say two year cushion. All right, two year cushion. It's a two year cushion. So what's that? Because the fact remains, if you're 17 and she's 17, yeah. that's legal. Yeah, that is legal. So, so something maybe. Something maybe. But yeah. if you're, say you're fucking two months different. Yeah. Of being 17 and 18, that's not legal? Like, there yeah. should be a cushion there. Oh, I see what you're saying on the other side. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But there should be a cushion also. If you're 30 years old, you shouldn't be fucking an 18 year old. No. That's great. And mind you, this is all consensual we're talking about. Exactly. We're yeah, not yeah. talking about anything else. And no. also, uh, Nicole, right, Edgar. whatever, Edgar, she said that uh, it was consensual. She did. So therefore, you don't have a claim to stick. Now, let me say, too, she said he laid down a towel. Now, that might sound disgusting to you, but I've laid down some towels myself. Maybe she's a squirter. And maybe. maybe. he's just trying to keep the area clean. Yep. I mean, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? That uh, the juices start flowing. You so never now, know. Another thing, couch. too, is, like, and this is what bothers me, is if you're admitting it's consensual, yeah. and this was fucking 30 years ago, yeah. shut up. Exactly. I mean, you had 30 years to push this issue. You waited until now. You waited until everybody else starts pushing their issues to come out with yours. Shut up. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and, I, and I'm not saying things are right. I'm not saying that you're wrong in what happened. Yeah. I'm just saying you had 30 years to fucking do this. And exactly. You just wait till now. I don't. Well, it's that. the hashtag Me Too. Yeah, yeah. Generation right now is happening. It's um, just there's there's a statute of limitations for a reason. Yeah. And I guess your lawyer said that. Uh, and this is Nicole's lawyer said that 
There are options. Yeah. Well, no, there's not options. You're a fucking asshole. Yeah. You had 30 years to do this. You're until now. Don't get, us, don't get us wrong. We're not on Scott's side. We, no. we think she's hot as hell. You if know it would have been the other way around, then I would be telling Scott to shut the fuck up. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, and even watching this shit, she seems like a conniving bitch with her conniving bitch lawyer. Yeah. And he seems like, uh, Scott seems like he's a real guy who's like, I didn't do nothing. So I'm just going to say what I fucking feel because I don't care about this yeah, shit. Yeah, and watching the two, Scott definitely is coming across as the more, like... Irrational? Yeah. He's not getting all worked up. Exactly. It doesn't seem like he's going on all these different things explaining about how he was... Exactly. You know, ...being accused of shit. Like, he's like, fucking press charges. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Exactly what a man that's innocent would do. Yeah, I don't think he's doing it in a, in a boisterous way of yep. cockiness. I now, think he's just like... I think whatever. Nicole Kidman or whatever fuck her name is, I think that she should be happy that Scott Bayo had sex with her. Well, because Kid, Nicole Kidman's the Australian oh, American well, Tom Cruise. Nicole whatever fuck her name Egger. is. Egger. I think she should be happy she had sex with Scott Bayo in his fucking prime. Yeah. Now if she had sex with Buddy or something, you know, yeah. from the show, then I can understand. You're gonna want to say Buddy raped you or whatever, but not Scott Bayo. Come on now, you got some bragging points. And with that in mind, like let's uh, name out of hat. Let's look at Gene Simmons. Yeah. Allegedly had sex with uh, thousands of women. Yeah. Where are the women beating down his door saying, oh, well, I only had sex with him because he's the singer of Kiss. That's right. And therefore he influenced me by being a fucking megastar. I got it. I got it. Gene Simmons has that long ass tongue, right? Yeah. He might not slang the dick, but he's got that long tongue. Maybe. So you're saying that's where Scott went wrong. He didn't slang the he dick. He didn't slang enough. the dick properly. That's right. exactly what happened. Wow. You know? Well, that just throws a wrench in the whole thing. You know when you go to, like, let's just say you have a store and you're making MTO huggies or something, mm -hmm. right? Somebody comes and they get a made to order huggie from you, and it ain't that good, right? They're going to go up on that Yelp or whatever, and they're going to write, oh, this place ain't that good. Here's a mm -hmm. two star, right? Well, this is a way of doing that. That wasn't good dick, so here you go. Here's a lawsuit. Yeah. 20 you know? years, 30 years later. I mean, hey, maybe. If she got raped or something. Under, that would be but she whole didn't know. Story. I don't believe it. I don't believe she got raped or nothing. I believe that yeah. she's just changing the fucking story. No, if she would show. have gotten raped, then I would expect her father to be a man and cut Scott Bayo's balls off. Exactly. This but that's not the case. Yeah, very true. Maybe that's that what I would do. Yeah, her dad might not care I mean, about her. No. If I had a daughter and somebody raped her, I will happily spend the rest of my life in jail because I will kill that son of a bitch. Unless when you ask your daughter, did, did he rape you? And you're like, well, not really. It was consensual, but I, I just feel weird then about it. Then he might just want to for being a dumb bitch. Yeah, you know, don't let guys manipulate you, girls. And uh, if they, if it is, uh, here, here's here's what it makes me think of. I'm going out here, might have sex with some girls because I'm famous and stuff, YouTube famous. And then it turns around where a couple of years later, they're like, well, I, didn't, I don't like the fact that he I had sex with him. So I'm going to tell everybody he raped me. You know what I mean? Well... First of all, you have two things right there. One, if a girl has sex with you because you're YouTube famous, yes. my hat's off to you. Oh, thank you. Second of yeah. all, it happens. Yeah. If, if you raped a girl, yeah. Bob, I'm probably going to punch you in the face. Well, no, I wouldn't, though. Okay, I'm well, saying. I'm just saying, if you decide yeah, no, to. Yeah, no, no, I'd punch, punch my own fucking face. Then I'm saying you know. that's what the, they'll say that I did yeah. because. But then they'd have to prove it. And then that's where it's that Trying to make that motherfucking money off me. Because how are they going to prove that you did that within a certain time period? Like, they would have to. There would have to be a bunch of fucking facts and evidence. Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about that. I'd be like Scott Bale because I know I didn't do it. And then you don't have to worry about it. She can say sex with me because I'm famous. What can I do? She, she, she wants payback after that? Come on now. Go and be a hooker if you want to get your payback after you have sex with somebody. You know what I mean? Well, that's a good part right there. I'm just getting into myself right now. See, I, I just don't think Scott did it. I mean, I and if he so did, and if he did, I'm going to say that you admitted, Nicole, that it was consensual. Yep. Now, I'm going to tell you from first-hand experience. If I was 17 years old and I had a 25-year-old woman that looked like you did back in the day coming on to me... Or even that I was coming on to and she fucking showed me any kind of interest. Yeah. I'm fucking her and I'm telling all my friends that I fucked a popular person. Exactly. Just 30 like, years down the road, I'm not going to come back and be like, oh, she raped me because she... And where's the fucking men at? Where are the fucking men at saying that this woman raped me and she used her fucking stats and status against me? That <laughs> she held me down. Shit. She held me down, set on top no of my face, saying that. Made, me, made me smell her vagina And that stuff. gets into the fucking kids <laughs> in high school that are fucking these hot-ass teachers. When I was in school, we didn't have hot teachers. No, right? we didn't. Our teachers didn't write history. They were history. If, they, if there was a teacher who was hot, she didn't want to fuck anymore. Yeah. 
Well, um, this completely went another way. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, fuck it. I'm done. I'm done. Drink. All right. Well, then in the bar. Well, he's pissed off. Uh, touchy subject, but uh, yeah, guys. I don't know. I'm just gonna end it because I'm just gonna sit here and ramble. All right. Well, that's been drunken discussions with the whiskey drinkers. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure you guys go and check out the Patreon channel. That's right, because over there is some shit that you're not going to be able to see on the regular channel. You know, we got some like behind the scenes and just crazy shit. Interesting stories about the videos themselves. So make sure you check that shit out. Hey, what, what do they need to do? Oh, they make, make sure you need to uh, like the videos. Yeah. You need to comment on the videos. Yeah. And you, uh, what's that last one? Uh, subscribe to the channel. Oh, That's yeah. It. All right, well, All we'll right. see you later.